Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Allen Family Firewood. As you can tell, I'm here by myself. And as you could tell from the clips in the beginning, the wood yard is a frozen tundra right now. It is covered with ice. We had freezing rain last night. You can't even walk out there. We need ice skates and we don't have any. So we said we don't want to do that today and we're not going to. So as you can see, Phil's been in here. He's cut up all that lumber that you saw on the trailer from the previous video. And uh, he has put it all in stacks, made all the parts for the pallets. There's all this sawdust everywhere and it's just a mess. And Phil is kind of in a funk. I think he inhaled too much sawdust, cutting through all these boards. It was just a thick layer everywhere in here of sawdust. So. We talked and we decided we're just going to take the day off because we just don't want to. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to go home and do whatever you do when you take the day off. But <laughs> it'll be probably easier for me than Phil, but that's what we're going to do. So we are going to build the pallets. We're going to reconstruct the design as we mentioned before, um, just making them two stacks wide to get the, the bigger airspace in between. And Phil's figured that all out as far as measurements and go. And we'll probably uh, continue with making those, trying one out, maybe giving it a shot out in the wood yard once everything's melted out and try stacking some wood on them and see how much better they work. We think it's gonna be better, so. But for now, we're gonna call it, like I said, and we'll be right back. It'll be tomorrow, of course, for us, but for you, we'll be right back. Okay, well, we're back. It's the next day. As you can see from the clip, it's snowing out today. We've got another three or four inches dropping on us, so. Yeah, <sighs> I just wasn't feeling it yesterday, you guys. I. I come in, finished up doing some boards, and I went in the kiln, checked that out, and just got discouraged looking in there, and discouraged enough that I think we're going to call it quits on that. It's We're coming up on burning two quart of wood already, <laughs> mostly pine. I mean, it was pine to try and dry three quart of wood, so I mean, it doesn't take anybody overly collegely educated <laughs> to, to know that that's a bad idea. Right. So we're going to go back to the drawing board on that. And that was the biggest reason in for having that kiln was for, for drying our pine, not hardwood. Because last year with our pallets, we had three rows. I mean, it was a four foot pallet and 16 inch wood and three rows of it on a four foot pallet. So that tells you there's no real air gap between the rows. It wasn't drying. The middle row going down the center was all white and fuzzy and wet and never dried. So that was the plan with the kiln was to have that and be able to dry wood. So that's not going to work. We haven't tried pine yet. We might still try some pine. Yeah. So we had to go back to the drawing board and I've been thinking on it because I've used those four by four pallets for years and they work good if you leave your wood outside for a year and it dries fine on them. But I think having a bigger air gap between the rows is the key. So we're redesigning the pallets. This is, this is brand new for us. I mean, we had to come up with something. I mean, if that's not going to work, the kiln then we got to be able to dry it outside somehow. And with the more air you can get around your wood, the better it's going to dry. So that's what we've got here. This is the first one we've built. And instead of being four foot wide, it's five feet wide, guys. And instead of being four feet that way, it's only three feet, two inches. This is 16 inch wood. So it, it sets right here, and then another 16 inch row right there, five feet across, and we have, we have the sideboards that we can 
Don't spill your soda. No, we can't do that. <laughs> we can put the sideboards on and stack it five feet tall. So it'll be five feet tall and five feet across, two different rows. Now I know everybody's gonna do some math real quick and say, that's more than half a cord. It is. It's gonna be about 12 inches long of, by 12 inches high of 16 inch wood extra in each row. <coughs> but we don't have to fill each row up to the top of the rope either. So that'll right. make life a little bit easier. The only thing we were thinking where there's so much space between each row is we're probably going to have to wrap our cellophane around each individual row. So when he right. picks it up, moves them, they're not falling into each other. So that's going to be a different... Even scenario even with the newer pallets that i started building that were four foot four to leave a two inch air gap between each row once you wrap them with that plastic wrap and you pick them up with a tractor and you drive up top and they bang around instead of being like this they go they tip in and it and you lose your air gap on the top anyway so this has got i mean six inches five six inches right down through the middle here. I think it's going to work and still hold half a cord. We're going to be piling it another foot taller. Yep. And actually, but, because of the dimension difference, we'll be able to stack more on the runners on the top side. Yeah, fit I mean, more pallets. You'll be able to fit more in pallets a in a row, but you won't get as many pallets because they're a little wider. Right. Now, a lot of you were probably going to think you should have went with a six-foot pallet, six-foot wide, and do two rows and only go four feet tall. That would make it a lot less top-heavy. I agree. That would be a great idea. Other than I eventually am going to figure that kiln out. <laughs> One way or the other, we put that much effort into it. And the six-footers won't fit <coughs> through the door. <laughs> no, I only built the door six-foot wide, so there's, there's two three-foot doors, so... Trying to consider all the things. Yeah, and... it's got the stake pockets on the side that stick out. It, it's not going to go through a six-foot door. But a five-footer will with, yeah, four or five inches on either side to spare. Because the sides don't always stay square on these pallets. Sometimes they tip one way or the other. So you, you got to account for that, trying to put something through a square hole. <laughs> <laughs> Round peg, square yeah. hole. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, as far as the kiln, I I left yesterday morning and I didn't put any wood in the stove, and I just uh, I'm done I'm done burning wood, and not getting any kind of results. I mean, I think the hottest I ever got that kiln up to was 107. Yeah. 107, 108, and we were down around. We did get to 30, 37 percent humidity. But that's slaving at the wood stove. Oh Keep yeah, it pumping is. Pumping the wood to it, and it's just it just doesn't that's, make sense. That's turning the door on the stove yeah. cherry red, and Would down you? the side cherry red. Which you give a wood stove that many hot suppers in a row, it's not gonna last. No. It's just it ain't gonna work. But we'll, we'll figure something out down the road on that. Yeah. But, but for now, I think this is what we're gonna convert over to. After all these years of building pallets that way. <laughs> of course, we still have our other ones that we have to use well, regardless. But yeah, but as they break, going I'll, forward, I'll pull the stake pockets off and put them onto these. Yeah, because we're only using four stake pockets on these right. as opposed to six. So That saves that's, us seven, yeah. seven, seven dollars and change, I think. And it was about the same amount of lumber. Um, yeah, it's the same. Would you figure five more nails that it you're using? Five, five more nails in these. Uh, the same amount of board footage in one of these, so it's it's all relative, I guess. I mean, we got a mill, so we can make all the lumber we want. But it, it took some thought to figure out how to how I wanted to make them and rugged. And I thought about just doing the one, two, three, two by fours and putting the boards on the top. But when you step in between, 
If you get a board with a knot, it's probably going to break, and then you'd be fixing boards. Right. I don't want to fix stuff. I don't like things. we got enough issues with things breaking. Yeah. We don't need pallets busting on us. So Plus, you had to configure how <coughs> the pallet jack would work fitting in here and where to space things correctly. That's and still a concern with yeah. a pallet jack because you can't go all the way through this. Like if this was the pallet jack and you come up tight, it's not going to work because the wheels are going to go down underneath and tear that back board off. So we're only going to bring the pallet jack into probably right about there. Maybe a little bit further. Hoping that'll work. And I think I got the board configured right on the bottom so that when the wheels, because the wheels are like this and then when you lift it up they come down and they come back about four inches. So you have to account for that. I, I think we did that too. But once we get some room in the shop, we could set this on the ground and right, run right. the jack under it and, and make sure that's going to work. But that's kind of the plan for today is because it's not snowing out anymore. Now it's raining. Yeah, so lousy. It's raining pretty good, too. So uh, mm, not winter. a good day to work outside. No. We could, but oh, we don't we could, have to. Cause, but we don't want to. Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Do we? No. No, I don't. I just soon stay in here where it's warm and dry and mm -hmm. <coughs> we need to build pallets anyway and I had cut up a whole bunch of pots and pieces and we're not going to bore, bore you with building these pallets because we've got videos on building these custom pallets anyway, but maybe we'll do a little time lapse thing or something. You can work your magic and do that and Maybe at the end we'll go in and, and bring out a few sticks of wood, bust them in half, and see what they're see reading. what they come out as. I they're certainly a lot drier, you guys. I can tell they're a lot drier, but they're not all the way there. I mean, they're good. I'd say the picks, the sticks that I've picked up, you could throw them in a stove and burn them. Hmm. I mean, it would be what I'd call seasoned wood, not dry wood no and certainly not kiln dry wood so right back to the drawing board on the kiln we'll figure that out but maybe this will solve our problems with the pine having that big air gap we won't get the mold yeah i think it will with the pine definitely we throw away 10 cord well we didn't throw it away we burnt it here in the shop yeah but it wasn't um, it wasn't good for bundles no but. nobody wants moldy wood in their in their mm. in their bundles they want clean nice looking wood so and we're about due to swap back over to split pine so that's once i figured out the kiln wasn't going to work and we weren't going to have a place to dry pine then we got to come up we had to come up with something really quick and this is it i think it's going to work and it'll help dry if when we get a kiln that works you're going to have this airspace right. to help dry it so yeah i think it's going to be a winner all the way around we haven't tried it yet i mean we haven't stacked any wood on it yet but well a little bit <laughs> well we put a couple of these on just to we'll show see. you guys but yeah i mean so we're going to set up today and just start banging out some of these because this is the way it's going to have to be we're going to make it work right it's not will it work it's we're going to make it work <laughs> one way or the other so yeah. let's do that and get going <laughs>
two brackets on and we'll call it good for building pallets, I think. Yeah, these pallets build a lot quicker. Well, there's two less brackets on them. I think that's probably where the time saving is. Certainly works out a whole lot better having someone to help you build these. And just some little parts. It's just, yep. it's all right there. It goes a lot faster. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a lot, lot faster than sitting here doing them by myself. No one to talk to about yourself. Yeah. Although you do pretty good with that. Yeah. You always talk to yourself. Well, a lot of things figured out when I talk to myself. <laughs> I'm really the only one that understands me. I know. <laughs> Three, three and a half cord, we'll get to go try them out at least. I still got to build the sideboards because I only got sideboards for one. one. Yep. But I told you guys we'd do the moisture test for what it's going to be worth. <laughs> I went in and grabbed, uh, that's one of the uglies. That's one of the, I think it was a bundle grade. Yeah. One that, that had been sitting out there for a couple months drying before that had. And then we had put maple in there, so I mean split them up and we'll test you know, them. You try the outside because they feel that maple feels nice and dry. I mean it doesn't feel bad. I mean I could put either one of those two sticks in the wood stove. Yeah the outside's reading nine percent on that one. Zero on that. Well, that's kind of been a piece that's bumped up. Let's turn it up. It's pretty dry, I mean. Yeah, zero. Okay. Yeah, it's try to make it too. Get. I'll try that. Still reading zero. Zero, too. Alright, well, let's see what the middles are like. Maybe. Maybe this will surprise us. Oh, I'm gonna split this piece of junk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this isn't gonna work up here. I'm gonna have to. On the concrete. Gonna say it felt like I could put it in the stove and that maple doesn't feel and they were what 31 41 percent when we yeah. put them in there this doesn't feel too bad either but I 
I mean it's split, it's cracking on both ends. You probably can't see it from way over there, but yeah. kind of see you can't burn three quarter wood to dry three quarter wood it just doesn't yeah. make any sense even if it's pine yeah no, know. technically our pine we get more money for our pine in bundles than we do firewood yeah so yeah. we're closer to 600 a cord bundles. for pine and when you bundle it oh wow it's yeah hey I mean, Unless you try, you're not going to know. So. Right, now I'm not going to give up. I still think with these new pallets with two rows, and because that's what we wanted the kiln for anyway, was to dry pine and stop right. it from molding, I think we throw it in there for a week. It's going to take most of the moisture out of that. My pine dries so easy. Right. Even in the summer it dries I think if within we, a couple weeks. If we leave it in the shop for a couple days first before we put it in there to get it Oh yeah, I'll never no. put wood in and not when it's ten degrees no, out. No, not this time of year. <laughs> and you're trying to you're trying to bring that big mass of wood up to to whatever you're trying to heat it at. It's, yeah, it's too much. Yeah, I mean I, it's just not going to work that way. So we'll put no. it in the shop and give it a give it a week. We're going to leave that wood in there while it's. I mean it's sitting in there. It's just going to keep getting dry with the fans are on it. So yeah. I'm just not going to chase that wood stove day in and day out and no we just can't it doesn't make sense no no doesn't make sense we didn't even start well i started it when i got here this morning the wood stove so yeah it's plenty warm in here but there's enough heat coming out we opened that door heat coming out of that kiln because that wood was all up in the 90s yeah which is acting like a big heat sink and it's just slowly working its way out here so yeah Oh. It was a good learning experience. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I think pine will go all right in there. Yeah. Pine will be fine. Yeah. There you go. Uh, so that's all we've got for today. We were thinking, I was thinking we could go out and split some, but yeah. it's still raining and... It's lousy out. Yeah. Yeah, it's crappy, so... And that's, that's we must confess, that. we didn't do our cleanup from the last split and split, <laughs> so... No, this still kind of not looking forward to going back up there because we know what's no. ahead of us. But yeah, this still almost half a face coat in the trailer that's got ice and snow all over it. And yeah, that that ought to be fun. Yeah, gonna be some cold fingers. Yeah, good thing I don't stack wood. <laughs> Whatever. All right, let's let these nice people go. Yeah, they probably want to go eat dinner or go do something. So yeah. speaking of dinner. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. We appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah. All Take right. Take care. Have fun. Bye. Bye.